What you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at fixing the error code 0x800735. This is a common error code when you're trying to uh, recognize your NAS drive on your computer. You can see here I've got my NAS drive just here, and uh, when I click on this to access it, uh, we get this error code. And uh, it's quite a common error code, and I'm going to show you how to fix it in this video. You can see Windows cannot access. Um, the NAS drive there and it could be any type of NAS drive it's not just this particular one and this is the error code that you're going to receive when you're doing this now you can hit the diagnose button but it still won't uh, rectify your problems and uh, you can take a look at some of the details here and this happens for a, uh, a few different reasons and I'm going to take you through and show you some of the fixes that you can use uh, to try and rectify your problem now you can actually go online and uh, access it via the web browser here I'll just quickly show you this as you can see so I can access this via the web browser but I can't access it on my computer or any other type of computer so we're going to take a look at how we can resolve this now also if you try to map a network drive you're going to get this error message so let me just quickly show you here now whether you type in the path for the network uh, NAS drive or you uh, click on browse it doesn't really matter you're going to get the same error message uh, when you try to access it in this way and it can be quite frustrating so let me just show you uh, this way you can see you get the error code coming up again and even if you use command prompt and uh, or the run box uh, to access this you're going to still get the same problem let me just quickly show you here I type in the IP address of my NAS drive and uh, you'll see it won't access this uh, actual NAS you'll get the same error message coming up here and uh, it should pop up on the screen any second there you go uh, so as you can see the error message happens whether you're mapping the network drive or if you're trying to access the network drive it doesn't really matter it happens in all these uh, times you're trying to do it so let's have a look at how we can resolve this issue let me quickly show you here what we're going to do is go into services first and then click on services here and uh, once services open you want to drill down here to where you see uh, TCP IP there you go and then NetBIOS helper you want to click on this you can see that's been disabled and then you want to double click on this and then go to automatic and then what you want to do is apply this and then you want to click on start this will start the service then click OK and you can see now the service is now running and that's what we want uh, so we're going to close this out and we're still not done yet so what we want to do next is right click go control panel here and uh, what we want to do here is go into uh, network and internet and network and sharing center you can get to network and sharing center many different ways click on the ethernet for your network okay and now you want to go into properties once you're into properties you want to drill down to where you see Internet Protocol version 4. That's TCP IP version 4. Then once you're inside here, you will see all your details. Click on Advanced here. And then you want to go to the tab where it says Wins. Click on Wins. And then you want to drill down to where it says Enable NetBIOS over TCP IP. Click OK. And OK again. And then Close. And then Close this off. Uh, and now what we're going to do next is we're going to go down to the search bar here and we're going to go into the registry editor just in case you're having some problems still open up the registry editor here and we're going to go to local machine HK local machine software Microsoft and then come all the way down until you find Microsoft licensing or MS licensing hardware ID you may want to export these to save them just in case I'm just going to delete mine but if you want to export them you can export those folders now close this off and refresh the uh, desktop here by right clicking and hit refresh and now you can try to map a network drive so click on the actual uh, NAS drive and then you should get 
uh, a box popping up saying Windows Security. Put in your details. Now you put in your details for your uh, login details for your NAS box. And there you go. You've now accessed your NAS drive. Now also what you can do is just in case uh, you're having uh, problems and you're on a Windows Pro machine, I'll show you another thing that you need to make sure that's done just in case because there's different reasons for it. So you can see here we've got this now. We can map this network drive onto our desktop if we want to. And you'll see it listed here. So we've got access to this now, which is nice. Uh, so I'm going to close this off. I'll just quickly show you again. You can see it down the bottom here. It's now mapped, which is good. Now also, uh, as well, what you may want to try is just, we'll just quickly try the run box and put in our IP address here and click OK to see whether we get the box popping up and of course we do so now we can just put in our details and click OK and now we can access our NAS from there as well so we can click our uh, folders here and put all our data in for public or for our personal use now if you're still having issues uh, what you may want to do here is go to the policies local security policies and I'll put the uh, command in the run box here or search open this up and just make sure if you're on a Windows Pro machine uh, you can see local policies security options and then come all the way down it's another problem that sometimes arises and you can change and you're looking on the uh, network network security area local manager authentication level and you want to set it to this level okay and it will probably not be set at all it'll probably say not defined so just define it for that and then click OK and you should be pretty much good to go. And enjoy your NAS and your data. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.